This episode of WISBusiness.com, the show, is brought to you by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Liz Schrump for the Wisconsin Technology Council with WISBusiness.com, the show. On today's show, Tom Still talks about the new brand for Wisconsin business in Wisconsin. And Linda Hoff, president of Physicians Plus Insurance Corporation, talks about the future of healthcare reform. First, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for mid-October. Rising, cranberries. The cranberry industry is wrapping up its public relations and foreign sales efforts. This year's harvest is estimated to rise 2% increase over last year. Wisconsin, once again, accounts for more cranberry production than every other state combined. It all gives something for growers to crow about. There's an awareness campaign rolling out this month, and growers have set up a cranberry marsh at the 2012 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival in Orlando. And falling, Land's End. The Wisconsin-based retailer announces it is cutting about 200 jobs by year's end. The bulk of the layoffs will affect the company's call center in Dodgeville. It's the first large-scale layoff since 435 jobs were cut in 2005. Tom Still is next with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. Please hold. Your call is very important. Does it seem like getting technical advice from business advisors can, well, take some time? At Grant Thornton, client access to partners has made them one of the largest accounting firms in the country. Grant Thornton. It's safe to say Wisconsin has a mixed record when it comes to slogans and brands. Remember, live like you mean it? That slogan only lived about seven months in 2009 after it was introduced by the state's tourism department. Critics said it sounded something like a motivational speaker might chant and exactly like a slogan once used by a major distillery. Escape to Wisconsin was enduringly popular, even if people sliced and diced the bumper stickers to cobble together their own slogans, off color or otherwise. In the mid-1980s, Governor Anthony Earle asked state residents to submit their own ideas for a new Wisconsin brand. The most popular suggestion, eat cheese or die, never made it out of the starting box with state officials. For better or worse, most state brands, slogans, and logos over time have been driven either by tourism or agriculture, such as the America's Dairyland line that anchors the bottom of passenger vehicle license plates. Tourism and farming have been the tail that has wagged the branding dog. That approach is changing within Wisconsin. The marketing initiative launched in late September by the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation to highlight the advantages of starting, expanding, or locating a business in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin is a business brand designed to work at different levels and across all sectors. It conveys a sense of successful companies at home and hints to non-Wisconsin companies why they should consider expanding or locating here. It also suggests a history of innovation and invention which has long been the reality of Wisconsin businesses, although not always the perception. You might be surprised to learn the primary targets of the campaign are people living, working, and running businesses in Wisconsin, not people across the Illinois or Minnesota state lines. It's not a new declaration of border war, but an attempt to build a sense of pride in Wisconsin businesses among those who are best prepared to serve as ambassadors, our own citizens. An advertising schedule that begins this month in business-oriented media in Chicago, Wisconsin, and the Twin Cities will use print, online, and outdoor media to direct people to online video testimonials from prominent Wisconsin companies. The testimonials underscore the diversity of Wisconsin's business landscape, as well as the importance and history of entrepreneurism in Wisconsin, where innovative small businesses create most jobs. That's true in Wisconsin, as well as nationally. It remains to be seen if the $500,000 in Wisconsin campaign pays off over time. And such marketing initiatives always take time to work. But it's already a departure from the state's spotty branding history. The important business of telling the story of business in Wisconsin is no longer an afterthought. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Linda Hoff, president of Physicians Plus Insurance. White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Linda Hoff, president of Physicians Plus Insurance Corporation. Thanks for joining us, Linda. It's nice to be here. What are 
health systems such as Meritor and Physicians Plus doing to position themselves for possible next steps on health care reform at the federal level? Uh, first and foremost, we're putting neighborhood clinics out there in the community. We know that access to primary care is the primary driver of wellness and lowering the cost of health care. In addition, integration of the physicians with the hospital helps improve quality, which is good for all of us. And regardless of the federal law, aren't most hospitals and health systems moving ahead with their own market-based reforms? Yes, we all are moving ahead on our own market-based reforms. What we're doing is um, integrating our physicians with our hospital care so that we can bring more cost-effective systems back to the community. Uh, one of the things that's embedded in health care reform are penalties. If you don't work well with the physicians, if your payer markets aren't well integrated, there are penalties that will come through. On the flip side, there are rewards for hospitals and physicians to treat patients efficiently and to make individuals well. And how should the tech and R&D communities view health care reform? There are millions of dollars at stake under health care reform. R&D innovation is a part of that. Wisconsin, Madison should be very excited about the innovation that's possible for companies in this community. Stem cell research, electronic medical records, and other innovations will help deliver costs in a more effective manner. We are excited at Meritor. We have a fully integrated electronic medical record that helps reduce the cost by eliminating unnecessary duplicate testing. Thanks, Linda, and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum of Talentfoot Executive Search. See you next time.